All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel, Baseball Talk with Nick Morgan. As we start this video today, I want you guys to think about the best player in each position in Major League Baseball. Now, immediately, I assume you're thinking of Mike Trout in center field, Max Scherzer or Clayton Kershaw uh, pitching, JT Realmuto catching, um, Francisco Lindor or Carlos Correa at shortstop. Now, that's what we're talking about today, Carlos Correa. He's very underrated, in my personal opinion. You know, when you think about him, you don't think of him as a power hitter, but you definitely think of him as a guy who makes great defensive plays and can bring in a bunch of runs, and he really helps the Houston Astros. Now, this video is not focused on how underrated the shortstop is, but it is his really uh, interesting injury, and I don't typically make videos for a player's injury just because it happens a lot. We see many injuries in every Major League Baseball season. The one video really I have made so far in the season uh, when it comes to injuries is the Yankees having 13 guys out at once on the injured list. But this is a little different. So Carlos Correa suffered a fractured rib during a massage at his house. And because of that massage, he is expecting now to miss anywhere from four to six weeks of baseball. Now, as kind of what I said before, piggybacking off of how he could be one of the best shortstops in baseball, he definitely was at one point. Now, Francisco Lindor is a young guy. He's very good at what he does. And offensively, defensively, he's always there to perform. The Cleveland Indians really focus in on him. He's pretty much the face of their team, maybe as um, well as Corey Kluber and Trevor Bauer, Carlos Carrasco, etc. But I really think that Carlos Correa is kind of just passing under the radar. Not as many people talk about him as they should. If you think of big names on the Astros, I think immediately Jose Altuve, Justin Verlander, Alex Bregman, and players like that. Maybe not Carlos Correa at first. In 2019, he has 190 at-bats. He's hitting 295 with 11 home runs, 35 RBIs, one stolen base, and a .907 OPS. In his career, he has 1,978 at-bats. He's hitting 279 with 92 home runs, accompanied by 348 RBIs, 33 stolen bases, and a .840 OPS. He was a first-round draft pick by the Houston Astros back in 2012, and he made his debut June 8, 2015. So this guy's only been in the league for about five years, and uh, we really know this guy. He's a big name. Definitely, uh, before this injury at least, was going to be either the starter for the American League All-Star team or, you know, the backup guy following Francisco Lindor um, or, you know, whoever would get the starting spot. But now we don't really know when he's going to be back, if he's going to make it back for the All-Star break or not, and, you know, how he's going to come back. He's going to come back, you know, as great as he was. He's going to have a slight altercation. Like, will he take some time to get back to his normal self? What will be the case? We can't really tell at the moment. You never can with any player as they're injured. But, um, of course, the Astros, a couple years back, won the World Series. They were really close last year to making it to the World Series. And now they just want to keep pushing. They want to make a factor this year and win. Is that possible? Most definitely. Will it happen? We'll have to find out. Now, who's the backup shortstop for the Houston Astros? I would assume Aledmus Diaz will take over that position. He's not really a big guy, like, with crazy numbers or crazy defense. Carlos Correa is definitely out there making plays uh, all the time. Has cat-like reflexes over there. We've seen him make plays from the ground. Um, just this guy is really good. You know, he's a five-tool player, in my personal opinion. And as I mentioned before, he's a little underrated. Um, he definitely has a very great future and a lot can happen with him. I mean, he's almost at that 280 career average, 285 type of uh, deal. Will he make it to the Hall of Fame? It's definitely possible. And I mean, he's just one piece of a very, very good Houston Astros squad at the moment. And him being out, will it really uh, make the Astros take a couple steps back? Will they lose a couple of games? without his presence, not necessarily. I mean, like I said, he's not putting up crazy like home run numbers, so it's not like he's hitting the ball out of the park every couple of games, bringing in a bunch of RBIs a game, but he's definitely there, and he's a catalyst when he's playing. He can hit for contact, he's got decent speed, and he's always there giving his best effort. Now, I really would have liked to see him in the All-Star game, but again, we don't really know if he's going to be back in time for that. And, I mean, it just kind of comes down to how he's feeling Fractured rib, I don't know how long it takes for that to heal. Maybe he'll go back before, uh, you know, the timetable and the expected recovery date. 
which hopefully he is. You know, I'm a Yankees fan, so I'm not really rooting for the Astros in the American League, but and if the Astros do happen to beat the Yankees, I don't mind rooting for them. I think they're a great team, and you can't deny that. You can't deny that Carlos Correa is a great player. Definitely one of the top three shortstops in Major League Baseball, if not that number one or number two guy. So guys, that is going to end this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to drop a like down below, comment, and subscribe. I want you guys to comment down below if you want to see me do an all-star ballot uh, video. I'm kind of thinking about it. I'd kind of go over who I would vote for the all-star game and, um, you know, discuss with you guys in the comment section what you guys think as well. So comment down below if you guys want to see that. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Peace.